Whenever you're ready. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is James Schaefer, and today I will be presenting on the reasons that led to the collapse of the Roman Empire. First off, I would like to start with a little background information as far as why the Roman Empire fell, but we also must understand what, how the Roman Empire increased to its height. Over here on the right side of the screen, you can see a figure that I had developed. Um, on the left side, it depicts the increase in the Roman Empire to its height, and it or depicts the decrease of the Roman Empire down the right side here. As you can see, these events are the same. This makes the increase in the decline of the Roman Empire very ironic, because the same reasons that it increased are the same reasons that it declined. Over here on the left, you can see morals, military, and then economy. That on the deep, when the decline started, it started with morals, economy, then the military. The total length of the Roman Empire is roughly about 1,400 years. Here, I have a map that I found through a Google search that depicts the Roman Empire at its greatest point in time. And as you can see, there are very, very many vast borders, and the empire took up a lot of the European continent. Next, I would like to go over some of the resources that I used for my research when I was um, developing my thesis statement as far as how the Roman Empire um, declined. I wanted to come up with a couple main points that I could go over. The first and primary uh, research that I did was through Jonathan Theodore in a book that he had written. And what he did is he compiled a bunch of different books from a bunch of different, different authors and their thesis statements and compiled them into his own book for the reasons why the Roman Empire collapsed and developed his own thesis statement based upon this. And then I have some secondary uh, research methods and it's National Ge Geographic and Ancient History Encyclopedia. Next, with all this research that I did, I was able to develop my own thesis statement. And the reason that I believe that the Roman Empire collapsed was due to the decline in morals, economic troubles, and military struggles. First, to start off, I would like to go over the change in morals that happened within the Roman Empire. It started off with a conversion to Christianity. This necessarily wouldn't be a bad thing, but in this time, in this day and age, when the Roman Empire converted over to Christianity, the religious leaders became involved in political affairs, and the political affairs then became involved in religion. Next, the decline morals had to do with a lot of the upper class and what the upper class was doing, which was then followed by the rest of Rome and the um, working class. What happened with the upper class is they became involved in sexual impurity, violent games, such as gladiators. And this brought a very violent realm to Rome, whereas the increase was more of, uh, more like peaceful, helping each other out, just making a good empire for everybody to live in. And then lastly, the loss of support. The working class then lost respect for the upper class, and they didn't want to work anymore. They just wanted to stay home, collect money from government pensions, and they were no longer supported. They didn't want to be a part of the military, um, causing a decrease in the military um, population. Next, I want to go over econ economic troubles that happened in the Roman Empire. First off, was pride always becomes before fall. As I mentioned before, with the decline of morals, the emperors became very prideful in themselves. They were the best, nobody could beat them. And they began spending all the gold that they earned for the emperor on themselves and everything else that is anything but the infrastructure or sociological reforms to happen within the Roman Empire, political affairs, anything else. The Roman Empire then went into bankruptcy because they were spending money on goods that they didn't need, but it was just for the personal gain. This led to bankruptcy and then external cost also went to the military to defend the vast borders, which then led to, led to a rise in taxes for the people of Rome, which then caused inflation, and then furthermore, increasing unemployment rates. The inflation in Rome was so bad that people began burning their own money before they would spend it on goods, because it was more worth the heat than rather buying food. Next was military struggles. The military could not keep up with barbarian groups that would spontaneously attack on any different border, and they would break down the military outposts of Rome, and they couldn't send troops in time based upon bad communication, low funds, and a population decline in the military. The military 
emperors were also encouraged to conquer new borders and expand their lands when they couldn't even contain their lands that they had already conquered. And that was from Jonathan Theodore. To wrap up my presentation today, I'd like to go over the main points that we had discussed. First of all, the collapse of Rome is a complex collapse that does with declining morals, economic troubles, and military struggles. The decline of Rome can also be known as ironic because the same issues that led to the increase of the empire also led to the decrease of the empire. And I would also like to provide a challenge today to take a look at what happened in history and try not to repeat it today. And maybe you could say, well, I'm just one individual. I can't change one thing in today. But you might be able to do one thing today to help you know, hold a door for somebody. But it turns out makes their, makes their day. It turns out they do an even bigger, kinder act to somebody else. Thank you.